Still stalking me then? Someone has to. We will all see what happens when you're left on your own. <laughs> Very sympathetic. As you said, I told you I never want to see you again. Actually, she's not here to see you. Dawn, um, I am so, so sorry. Yeah, she's not talking to you either. It's OK. Do you want to give us a minute? Why don't we go and grab a coffee? If you upset her again, I won't, I promise. Um, get well soon. I'd have preferred chocolates. I want to get clean. You know, I've done it once before, so fingers crossed. What I said about you getting heroin, you know, I was just pushing your buttons, trying to force you to leave. I didn't think that you'd then go and... I didn't overdose on purpose. I just wanted to get high and I, I took too much. Yeah, but it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't given you the money, so I'm really sorry. Um, and what you've been through. I've been there myself. I was on the streets at 14, you know, I had men ply me with booze, using me for sex. You're saying we should form some sort of club? <laughs> no, I'm saying that we're not so different. Yeah, except you've got a job and kids and someone who loves you. And you can have that as well if you want it. What, once an addict, always an addict? That's rubbish. There is a better life to be had and you've got people around you now, haven't you? You've got Harriet, you've got Ryan. I thought you didn't want me anywhere near him. Well, I was wrong, judging you by my own standards. And I know that he really cares about you. Yeah, well, I care about him. Well, there you go, then. You can beat this, you know. The secret is, don't shut people out. 